Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a review of a little commentary that I've got. So this one, as you can see, it's just on the Book of Romans. So this one is part of the Everyday Bible Commentary series. So they do offer different books of the Bible individually, so that's kind of nice. So the spine, we've just got Romans, and this one is done by Alan F. Johnson. So I'd read something online that said that Martin Luther said that the book of Romans was so important to the Christian faith that every Christian should memorize it. I thought that was kind of neat, so I thought I would like to dig a little bit deeper into the book of Romans. So I've got this little commentary, and I like that it's just an individual book, so that's kind of neat. There is a quick shot of our ISBN number, retails for $9.99. And you can definitely get this for less on christianbook.com. You can also get it on probably Lifeway, Amazon, and some different websites. And I will put a link in the description box. So this is just going to be the contents page. So what's nice about a commentary is it's going to help you unpack the, that book, the Bible. So this one's going to be, of course, the book of Romans. But it's going to unpack it for us verse by verse. So that, I think, is really neat. We're going to start off with a preface, got a new perspective on Paul. This here gives us the book of Romans in one sentence. It's also got a little guide on how to use this book, and then we're going to get into our introduction. So it's going to give us the importance of Romans. And so I've read uh, a good portion of this, I haven't finished the whole thing yet. But I liked it, and so I figured I would do a quick review because I didn't really realize you could get just the individual books for good prices. So we've got the author date and place of writing. It's going to give us an occasion and purpose. Themes and chief characteristics. It's got information on the Roman church. And integrity of the letter, and then the outline. So I'll pan through the outline a little bit slower. That way you can kind of see the different things that they're going to talk about and then what verses they pertain to. And then that might give you an idea of whether or not you would want to pick one of these up or not. You can also get these in ebook format as well. So if you have an e-reader and you prefer to study that way, you could do that as well. After I'm finished reading this one, I think I might pick up maybe one in a different book. Because I do have a commentary set that is, I think, six volumes. But that's going to be a lot harder to like take with you. Where this one, this is small enough, I can just take this with me in my Bible bag. So that's kind of nice. So it's going to give us information on the opening. So we've got just 17 verses that this breaks it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip through and show you some of the different chapter titles. That way you can kind of get an idea of what the chapters are going to be about. Because I know some people really love a commentary. It really helps them when their studies. And then other people really, it doesn't really matter to them if they have a commentary or not. So... Kind of different for every individual on how they want to study their Bible. But I just really thought that that uh, quote from Martin Luther was interesting as far as he thought that every Christian should memorize this book. So I thought that was kind of neat. And it looks like I skipped chapter 8. I'm not sure where that is. Oh, there we go. So hopefully seeing some of these different chapters will kind of just give you an idea of what they're talking about in here and kind of let you know whether or not you might want to spend several dollars and get yourself a copy or not. And so then on the back of it, it gives us the reason for the writing. So that's kind of neat. And then in the back section here, we're just going to have all of the notes and pretty much all the different people that may have contributed to this, which it's kind of hard to flip through there. But nice little commentary. I mean, it's small, it's compact, easy to take with you. So this year I'm kind of doing a little bit slower study. This one is done by Moody Publishers. 
So this is going to come in handy because it's small. I just reviewed earlier a smaller hand size type Bible. And so this makes it nice to where if you were to throw those in a bag, that's not very bulky. So nice size to take with you. And then they also do have other books of the Bible that are available. So definitely check into those. If there's one that you might be interested in, that might be a great way to see if a commentary is for you or not to just start with an individual book. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.